the Jacket TV where everything is possible. Today we're playing Fatal Frame 3. This is episode 4. And I'm five times more mental than I was. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's just go over the game. I don't know what I'm doing. That's my problem. Never know what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah. We're in the apartment now. There isn't any tape I want to listen to now. Come on, man. You don't have Backstreet's back? When I was in the 90s, I, I I had a tape of Backstreet's Back, and I wore it out, which is mental. I don't know why I was so into Backstreet Boys. Listen to that stuff all the time. On the desk is a sketchbook and an open appointment book with a handwritten warning inside. Don't work too hard. I'd rather be hardly working. Print. My clothes are, thro are thrown carelessly into the closet. I've never been a tidy person, and unless I make a real effort, things soon get like this. Miku must not have seen in here yet. She would never let this... Yeah. I'll show you a mess, lady. That's a, that's a, that's a Japanese mess. I haven't seen my room. My room's a white person mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something, significantly more than what you just saw in that closet. She walked into one of our rooms. <laughs> <laughs> not even because it's like stinky, because it's not. It's just there's clothes all over and stuff. Yeah. Use room. Ever since the accident, I try not to come in here unless I have a good reason. I, uh. I don't know. I just put things down. And then I know where they are, so I don't feel like putting them away, because then I won't know where they are. And then eventually everything's on my bed and on the floor, and I know where it is. But it's a mess. Good morning, Ray. It looks like today's going to rain. Looks. Like I can't speak. It looks like it's going to rain all day today too. You don't have to work so much this week, so why don't you try to relax? Ray, you've been working too much lately. You were woken up by a bad dream this morning. Yeah. Why are you telling me this like I like I wasn't just playing the game? Huh? Huh? You're fired. Expository dialogue. It's fine if you write it properly. That reminds me. There was a letter. It's addressed to you. Oh, someone sent me a letter? No, someone sent you a letter. Yeah, that's what I said. <sighs> Puck! <laughs> Dear you, sorry for not writing for so long. How are things with your fiancé? I'm continuing my investigation of the urban legend. Like I thought, my niece's symptoms bear similarities to the strange disease associated with the urban legend. I think most of the story is groundless rumor, but I've heard there was a psychi psychiatric study done. If you will if you have it, I'd like to see it. Maybe it will provide a clue. I'm taking a break from all my other work to devote myself to studying the urban legend. I'd like your help. According to the documents that I've studied, that rare camera I sent you is apparently a rare... Or that camera I sent you is apparently... I, I saw rare even though I wasn't reading it. <laughs> that camera I sent you is apparently a rare camera obscura. Given where I found it, it may have some connection to the missing people in the urban legend. If you hear anything, please tell me. Regards, K. Amakura. Amakura. <laughs> um, it's from K. He's written several times before. Have you still not told him about you? I wonder if it was Lee in Hugh's room. Well, time to go back upstairs. Go in Hugh's room and get the camera obscura. Belt. You're welcome. You're welcome for that one. I gave you that one for free. There was something about a sort of camera obscura that you owned written in that letter. Could it be the same camera I saw in my dream? No way, lady. It's a different one. Don't come in here. It's all spooky. Yeah. No reason to leave them on. Look at that laptop. Bet that was new back in the day. Ray, may I help you with something? Oh, I just wanted to ask you. I'm looking for that camera. Huh. 
He dead. You can't talk to him. Some light in here. People in gaming cutscenes walk like Robocop. <laughs> Show me where the camera is, or there will be trouble. Dead, you're coming with me. Isn't it supposed to be dead or alive? Not for my version of Robocop. Puck! His whole body's a squib. <laughs> Cardboard boxes. Blah -de blah. After what happened, I tried to sort through his things, but after a while, I just couldn't go on anymore and haven't touched it all since. Nope, not in there. Nope. Bookshelves are full of volumes of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. They're all books you use for his work, or ones that were published by his company. There was a time when I used to be interested in them, but it was only a passing phase. Handwritten letters and stuff. The notebook left out on top of the desk. Perhaps someone was in the middle of working. Now I got the notebook. Eleven pages! That's the rest of this episode. Many of the urban legends classified as Lost Village are modeled on real incidents, such as a village that was ru a village was ruined when one villager massacred the others. They are often an amalgamation of well-known actual incidents, legend, or oral tradition. Settings such as isolated mountain village or bygone customs, like night trysts or ceremonies, often act to trigger the incidents themselves, and, in these, and these in turn become the motif for urban legends. The reason for the popularity of urban legends may lie in the notion of the view of the country from the city, or modern bias toward the ancient. To people in the modern city, the village is the wilderness, and those who live there are different. Perhaps that scorn or fear finds expression in the urban legend. For that reason, the setting of the legend must be, is must be the isolated, isolated mountain village. Further, bygone customs are attractive elements that end up acting to provoke the incident. As a case in point, there is a story about the area where the Min Minakami Dam, around the Minakami Dam where Mayu went missing, the lost village. In the mountains of the Minakami area, there was once a massacre in the so-called Lost Village. Years ago, on a night of certain festival, there was a great massacre, and the village disappeared from the map. Only one woman survived. If you walk in the forest where the ancient village once lay, or where the village once lay, there is a small garden statue, and if you continue, you will come to the shrine gate that forms the entrance of the village. Small garden statue. <laughs> It's a garden statue. You can open it up and there's just a whole garden in there. But you have to shrink down into a miniature guy to go in it. If you should pass through the gate, you will never return. The night of the massacre continues in this village where day will never break again. Will never again break. And a woman's horrific laugh rings throughout the village. Next, we have the manner of bizarre murders where the same tragedy recurs. Its scale is smaller, but generally speaking, it resembles the pattern of the village as it is made up of elements based on true incidents. Below is an example of this. It has, it has to do with Mafuyu's disappearance. The House of Mutilation. In the mountain area of Himuro, there remains a manor where years ago there was said to be a massacre. There's always a massacre. There have always been vanishings in the nearby forest, and many of the spirited away are said to end up in the manor. Their corpses have been found with both hands, legs, and head severed off. One more example is a seemingly related manner of sleep urban legend that I'm researching now. I guess that's this game's one. The manner of sleep legend was picked up in various magazines in the 1960s, but incidents with very similar characteristics can be found here and there in older media. This newspaper is from the early 1900s and is of no relation to when the manner of sleep legend was taken up. But the background of the spirited aways and the people's later conditions bear many similarities to the manner of sleep urban legend. I'm still investigating, but these incidents may track back to the 19th century, and I have seen legends in several folklore books that may have become the basis for the manner of sleep. The House of Sleep urban legend. Perhaps this is what Kay was asked to investigate. You see, that's how you do proper exposition. You can't... See, if he had written the letter, right, and went, 
and and instead of just saying about the urban legend, if he had said, I'm uh, I, I'm writing this letter to tell you that I'm still researching the manner of sleep urban legend and blah 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 and wrote all that stuff in there, it would be mental because they're friends. They obviously know the urban legend they're talking about, and that's good. I don't like it when it's the other way when people write and act as though like. They're talking about stuff that obviously they both should know, but they talk about it like the other person doesn't know so that the audience can learn. That's shitty expedi- exposition. It, it's just bad writing. <laughs> Series of vanishings across the region. According to sources, before dawn yesterday, a mother and a daughter who live in Myojin Village went missing. The missing are Makie Kuzuhara and her daughter, Kozue. Uh, since... Since last year, two have been searching for Kuzuhara's missing husband. The two reportedly wandered the, wa- the mountains nearly every day. The informant says, I hadn't seen them for several days, so I went to visit them. There was no answer, so I went inside, but they were gone. I only saw some black soot-like marks. Similar disappearances are being reported across the area, and some are calling them spirited away. Okay, that goes in the file as well. I have used research. Where the funk is the camera? Oh, I think I saw it. Hello. There it is. On the shel- On the shelter. What the frig? <laughs> on the shelf are a letter and a camera similar to the one I saw in my dream. Looks like the letter is from K. More reading. All right. We're going to read this in the next episode. Actually, you know what? Frig it. Yeah, yeah. Dear you, during my research on the manner of sleep urban ledger- Urban ledger- Urban legend- I finally made it to a certain deserted village lost even from the map. I found this camera in a huge abandoned house near that village. My niece Mio, when Mayo dis- when Mayu disappeared, she caused you a lot of trouble, so you probably remember her, saw this camera, and she and she was scared stiff. Ah, right. Yeah, she... Exactly. I wonder if it reminded her of that unspeakable incident. For now, I'd like you to take care of the camera. You know about antiques, so could you look it over for me? I don't think you'll be able to reach me for a bit, but I'll contact you, so let me know when what you find then. Regards, K. I I guess it's cool that the characters in the story all have relation to the other one. Um, this is an older... This is older than the one in my dream. And even the inscription... And the inscription on the back is illegible. Even so, it does look very similar to the camera obscura. Ah, it's busted. It's... There's old film in there. Film looks pretty old. Doesn't seem to have been spoiled. Spoilt! By exposing it all. Exposure at all. Wonder what could be on it. I wonder if I can develop it in the dark room. Guess we're gonna go develop that that film in the next one. Yeah. Good timing! Hurry up, I'm timing. Uh, so yeah, that was episode four, right? Yeah, four. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, We'll be back with another one tomorrow, so hopefully you'll join us then. Till then, bye! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of Jeggy TV. We hope you enjoyed that game as much as we did. I mean, it might not be a game, but anyways, if it is, we hope you enjoyed it. Are these going on games? Only games? Awesome! Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you and know more about what you think. What do you think of our outro video? What do you think of the quality? What do you think of us? Should we just go and bury ourselves in like six feet of soil and end it? Because I don't think we're making progress here.